Oh, hello. Today I'm going to read to you Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone with all the wrong character voices. Chapter 4 The Keeper of the Keys. The whole shack shivered, and Harry sat bolt upright, staring at the door. Someone was outside, knocking to get in. Boom! They knocked again. A giant of a man was standing in the doorway. Couldn't make us a cup of tea, could ya? It's not been an easy journey. He strode over to the sofa, where Dudley sat frozen with fear. Budge up, you great lump, said the stranger. Uncle Vernon made a funny rasping noise. I demand that you leave here at once, sir, he said. You are breaking and entering. Ah, shut up, Dursley, you great prune, said the giant. Harry looked up at the giant. He meant to say thank you, but the words got lost in his throat. And what he said next was, Who are you? asked Voldemort. Call me Hagrid, he said. And everybody does. You don't know who you are, do you? He said finally. Uncle Vernon suddenly found his voice. Stop, he commanded. Stop right there, sir. I forbid you to tell the boy anything. You never told him. Never told him what was in the letter Dumbledore left for you. I was there. I saw Dumbledore leave it, Dursley. And you've kept it from him all these years. Kept me from what? said Harry eagerly. Stop! I forbid you! yelled Uncle Vernon in panic. Aunt Petunia gave a rasp of horror. <gasps> Harry, you're a wizard. There was a silence inside the hut. Only the sea and the whistling wind could be heard. I'm a what? A wizard, of course. And a thumping good one, I'd wager. And I reckon it's about time you read your letter. And now we'll do the letter bit. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Headmaster. Angry Albus Dumbledore from the later films. Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform that you are in a relation with the wizardry. Please find your close, I'm going to look like a weapon. Your sincerely, Albus Dumbledore. Thank you. Next week, we will read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Underwater. Good night.